Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for season 4, episode 8 of Dawson's Creek. This time the title of the episode is The Unusual Suspect, and or Suspects, actually. Um, so yeah, we're here, we're back, we are ready for a new episode of Dawson's Creek. Today, if you are uh, a Patreon here, you know, you can uh, watch me react to episode 8, which is this one episode 9, and episode 10 today. So, hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to try to do every single Monday uh, uh, a three-episode binge for uh, Dawson's Creek. I'm going to try to keep that up until, like, maybe we finish the entire series. Um, or maybe we do more. I don't know, but I'm going to try to keep Mondays or one of a day out of the week exclusively for Dawson's Creek. So... I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Uh, the previous episode, well, um, what's her name? Uh, Andy. Andy left town. Uh, she's going to Italy for uh, six months. Uh, and the actor who plays her dad and her and Jack's dad died. Which I was not expecting that at all. And... Yes, in a way, kind of like the character came to a point where, you know, he accepts his son. Um, but it's, it's very tragic that that happened. I mean, I feel bad. Um, but the thing is that uh, I don't know if they're going to recast him or they're going to do like a... Uh, 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 I don't know, we're gonna forget about him or, or what? I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys continue supporting for more. Give a lot of thumbs up. Like I said, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction is always supposed to first on Patreon. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys like it. And without further ado, let's just begin with season four, episode eight of Dawson's Creek. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Class of... Oh! The class... What the hell is Who it? did this? That's my boat and my dog. <laughs> How the hell did they got it here? Who could have possibly... <laughs> I should have thought of this. Dawson, but... while we do recognize your talent as a witty... Yeah, but the, the world is not a, you know, center. You doesn't. I should have thought of this. Dawson, Dawson, Dawson. Practical Joker, I think that this is even out of your league. <laughs> Uh-oh. Do you know that dog, Mr. McPhee? No. <laughs> <laughs> he did that? Oh my god! My child! Be the rebel! I love it. Will the following students please report to Principal Peskin's office immediately? Jack McPhee, Zach Estrin, <laughs> Dawson Leary, Dave Boosen, and Pacey Winner. Ah, oh, come on. It kind of did look like, like Pacey. <laughs> okay, are you guys accusing me of something? You know that you're the last person I would suspect of being responsible for a stunt like this, but you yeah. can also understand why we would have no choice but to bring you in. <laughs> Yeah, the dog fingered me. We're on your side, Pacey. The dog what? The dog what? <laughs> but we gotta get to the bottom of this mystery. So all you have to do is tell us where you were and who you were with yesterday morning. <laughs> Jen! Jen, come on, Jen! Open the door! <laughs> Oh, I'm still asleep. And this is a dream in which you're heterosexual. <laughs> These are for Grams. I asked them if it was possible if you could fulfill your commitment by uh, assisting me with my soccer team. Well, what'd they say? They said providing that kind of guidance for uh, kids is exactly the kind of rehabilitating activity that your kind needs in order to, in order to mend her evil ways. <laughs> Jack, I think I'm more qualified to pick up trash on the highway than mold impressionable young minds. Oh, come on. Look, I need you here. Ever since Annie left, I've been barely getting by. Hey, right, I'll be back at uh, 1245 sharp to pick you up. Oh, where are you going? I, I, I can make eggs. Um, I got to, uh, I got to meet Drew at the hardware store. Why are you meeting Drew at the hardware store? Long story. Yeah, why? It's a karma thing. I, I got to run. 
tell me everything every single thing you did yesterday oh fuck you don't blame you yesterday let's see where was i where was i <laughs> oh this oh, is cute right here. <laughs> PC, for five years, your brother's been nagging you about spending a day with him, observing police policies, and you've always told him to just stick it. <laughs> you a meaningless career aptitude test, and suddenly you're watching the lost episodes of Cop Rock and taking him up on his dubious offer. Well, don't you think I'd look sexy in a uniform? I think you would, my child. Inside point. <laughs> <laughs> I hit the rough and tumble asphalt jungle. <laughs> oh. Okay, great, sweetheart. Oh. How can they be this cute? I love. I just. This is what. This is what a ship that is meant to be looks like. Let's be real, guys. Like, just, just look at them. I just. I swear, God. There is. There is. <laughs> very few. Stray ships can make me feel this way, and they do. Oh, but I'm so afraid that you know what? I'm gonna try to like let go of my, you know, of like this. Oh, this bad thing is going to happen because I need to. What is it that I need to? Oh, I need to. <laughs> I need to understand, right? I need to understand. That I have to live in the now and I have to enjoy the now and no wor don't worry about what's coming next. You know what I mean? Right now they're together and that's all it that matters. When I got up yesterday morning, you weren't at the house. Which proves that I kidnapped Chester. Aren't you guys working this whole like NYPD blue angle a little hard? Yeah. All Good right. cop, bad um, cop. In the morning, mom gave me a ride. Listen, get home as quickly as possible. I need you to find the keys to your dad's car, which I know you lost. No, I had them. I had you last night after I went to the movie theaters. I, before I went out, I took them with me. I think. Whatever. Just find them before he knows they're gone. I painted your house. I painted your fence. Your boat is fixed. We're even. It's over. So I'll do this, but I'm going to need some compensation. No. All right. <laughs> I'll pay you what you're worth. Which is? Very little. I agree. <laughs> I've done a project for Cam with Drew Valentine. I agree. For every ob like obnoxious thing he says, we take five dollars out of his paycheck, whatever that is. He's gonna end up own owning mo money to the guy by the end of this. <laughs> no. Look, all you gotta do is go get the paint and um, and take this up to the register for me. Why can't you do it? Uh, one of the soccer goals in the field's falling apart. I gotta get some net, and you know, if I don't fix it, nobody else will. Must be weird. What? Being selfless. Where did Is you go with Is he flirting with you? Winner? You mean my brother? What do you think? <laughs> you donuts. <laughs> I'm shaking my head in disbelief. <laughs> I'm judging a book by his prologue, wise ass. Arthur Isaac Brooks, the newspaper, track and field, aspiration to become a great Hollywood filmmaker. So there's oh more, th more, more than one straight white guy that thought he can make it as a filmmaker. <gasps> the possibilities! <laughs> I think it's time we discussed your infamous ninth grade senior pact for a minute. And uh, Pacey and I made a pact that when our time came, we would do it right. We'd the prank to end all pranks. We talked about it for years. So it was you. No, it wasn't me. In case you haven't noticed, Pacey and I aren't exactly Butch and Sundance these days. I don't even remember the pact until you just... Well, what is it? I can tell you I didn't do it. I can't speak for Pacey. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Why do you have to say that? What did you have to... And why do we have to believe that he didn't do it? And Pacey did. Why? Because he's like, Oh, I, I mean, I can't speak for anyone else. F fuck you. Okay? 
Ah, it's a little doohickey. I got it. I got it. Right. I got it. It's okay. What's going on? All right, I gotta take care of something. Right. Molly, double time. Over here. Oh, ow. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I'd really rather not. Yeah, but goalie is, is like... I'm left halfback. I like left halfback. I'd like to stick with left halfback, okay? Please. Okay. No one wants to play as a, as a goalie. I like that kid. Funny. Yeah. You know, she reminds me of me at that age. All right, I'll talk. <laughs> but I gotta warn you. It's gonna be deathly boring. <laughs> His wicked smile. Pardon me? Seriously, man, look at you. For all your Elliot Ness dreams and Harry Callahan aspirations, you're nothing. I mean, nobody. At best, you're the Barney Fife of this little podunk town. What's that? Oh, whoa. Does this diatribe have a point, Pacey? You hurt his feelings. He actually has feelings. I, no. No, not really. I'm just a little disconcerted by it all. Oh, he has feelings. Dog has feelings. Twelve, you were still at the Arthur Brooks estate. You think you can take my money and wander off to spoon with your girlfriend? You're sadly mistaken. She's not my girlfriend. You're not back here within three hours. You can forget about being paid. <laughs> I think the guy needs company. Wants Mom company. Was stuck at the restaurant. She asked me to get you. Oh, so I'm a favorite. I didn't say that. <laughs> you get any orange wedges? One. Billy takes the other one and smashes it into the ground. Yeah, Billy's a jerk. Just wait until I'm 17 and hot. Don't <laughs> regret messing with me. Look, Molly, it doesn't matter if you're 17 or you're 45. These guys aren't going to respect you unless you make them. Look, Molly, you got to prove it to yourself, OK? If you do that, if you believe that you're just as good as they are, I guarantee you the rest is just going to take care of itself. You find a goalie yet? Nah. Can I still have it? Yep. Fine. Bring it on. OK, good. You know, you just totally pulled a fast one on me. But I'm going to let it go because you're right. But that doesn't mean that I don't understand exactly what you just did. <laughs> Whenever I see that guy, I can't help but hearing the Darth Vader theme. <laughs> <laughs> True. I'm making an effort. Not to be cruel, but why? Kind of a karmic decision. I thank you for the ride. Just doing your mom a favor. <laughs> right. <laughs> Left these in my car, man. Ah, huh. thank you. Thank you. I, I, you just saved me from like a solid hour of paternal lecturing. It was the least I can do. And as I said, you know, uh, you reached out to the new kid. What goes around comes around. That is so Gay, true. Ryan. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're still angry at your little brother for that whole waste in your life shtick. I only sort of meant it. <laughs> sort of, you know. I want you to listen to me very closely because I'm only going to say this one time. If you ever in your life care about anything as much as I care about being an officer in this town, I will be shocked. And if you ever in your life presume to judge me again, so help me God, I will beat the ugly right out of you. Ah, dog is a steel dog. So Don't need to you're thread me him. Is that you were looking for the very same dog that you're suspected of having taken. Uh. You discussed my ninth grade pact with Dawson. Oh, you remember the agreement too, I see. Well, of course I remember it. It was my idea. But did it ever occur to you that my not-so-close acquaintance slash former best friend has hinted or possibly even implicated yours truly only to divert suspicion from himself? True, Mr. Winter, I agree. Mr. Justice is blind. If Dawson is responsible, we'll nail him. What? Justice will nail you. Fuck you. It's very interesting, though, that the girls are not being thought as responsible for this, right? Joey also works at the Yacht, yacht Club, right? Jen seemed available in the morning. Why couldn't it be them? I don't know. 
Dad, I was home last night. You saw me. Uh, 10 o'clock. <clears throat> oh, just tell us about the prior five hours. He was falling asleep. Afternoon and evening, where you were, who you were with, and I promise you we'll be done with this. We'll be done with this when I've got my man. This whole good cop, bad cop is very annoying. I guess I forgot. You're just a hormonal adolescent. What do you possibly hope to gain by insulting my friend? I don't give a damn about you or your lady. But I do care about having my generosity taken advantage of. Look, just what because generosity? you're alone and your life is full of abandoned dreams does not give you the license to inflict your pain on me. How dare you presume to understand me, who I am, where I've been, what I've done. Because that's Dawson. Get the hell out of here. Once again, as I've already told you, we had a game. It was our first playoff game. <laughs> a Jackers. Uh, Milton Pee Wee Parents, two o'clock. So I'm gonna give it to you real straight, Jack. You put the little girl in for goalie, we'll lose the game. We lose the game. You lose your job. Fuck you. Why he has to be this intense about, like, soccer when these kids should be having fun? Like, wh what? You Americans don't even like soccer this much. What the fuck? This is just homophobia right there. They said they're going to fire me if I keep Molly and goal. Are you kidding me? Jack, what are you going to do? Keeping her there. Wait a second. You couldn't find the dog, so your brother made you get in the back of the car? I'm confused. I was confused, too. It seemed so blatantly hostile, even for Dougie. Frankly, when he went in, I considered making a break for it. Is that his boyfriend? <laughs> well, Mike, the uh, guy in the back's not a perp. He's my little brother. How goes it, Junior Witter? It's been better. He helps people. Why are you looking at me like that? I... Uh, no reason. He's making a, later, a difference. An better judgment. I was back at the Brooks house. Because you're annoying. Okay. Yeah, we got that. <laughs> I don't ever want to be the kind of person who pushes everything and everyone away from him. I don't want to be alone. And I know that you don't want to be alone either. You can't get rid of me, Mr. Brooks. What you say and do to everyone else might work on them, but it's not going to work on me. So I'm back. And I'm going to finish the job that I was hired to do. Before I could even realize what was happening. Honestly, was honestly, the fact that Dawson believes that is like, actually, you want my company, which I think it is, you know. But to presume that he didn't do anything of significancy in his life, you know, it's, you know, judging him like that. I don't know. I mean, he seems like he had had a past, you know. He talked about helping his brother, her, his brothers out. Right, even though they lost a lot of money, uh, he seems fine, you know, with that. Uh, but there, here, uh, he is, you know, doesn't kind of like saying, "Well, you live a crappy life," and like, I don't want to be a live a crappy life when I don't think it's that way, you know. Somehow we won the game. Okay, yeah, go, go east, yeah. Excuse me? If we tie the Falcons on Wednesday, the three goals that little girl let slip by will count against us. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> well, then I'll just have to win that game against the Falcons on Wednesday. Well, that's where you're mistaken. You see, you can't beat the Falcons on Wednesday because you're no longer the coach of this team. He won. You're done, McVeigh. You just need an excuse to, to fire him. Oh, Molly. Molly. Okay, they won how many goals against three? Like, that's a lot. 
The Winners. Mr. Valentine, what brings you here? Skulking through the shadows at this hour of night. Anonymous phone call. Boat's missing. You see a boat on me, man? I mean, you can frisk me if you want. I bet you'd like that. Come on. Yeah, fuck you. Let's do the man dance. All right, this is official police business. No, that's all right. I'll get around with you. Hey, Drew, hold on a second. Hey, newsflash, Casey. You hate Drew. Yeah. Yes, I do. It's only a ride home. And I'm trying to be a better person, just like you. Besides, it's a karma thing. They'll yeah. keep telling. Bye. They'll keep saying that. It's a karma thing. Something else, Mr. Witter? Well, yeah, I, I was just thinking that... Honestly, I don't think Dawson did it either. Why is that? That guy's way too respectable to pull off that type of crime. At least not without my coaxing, you know? See? Just not that type of guy. Pacey might be cocky, but he's not an idiot. I mean, there's... There's no way he would jeopardize his academic foothold for what was hardly the prank to end all pranks. Well, Dave, satisfied? Yes, uh, Mitchell, I am. I'm very satisfied indeed, considering that I know who did it. You. <laughs> really? Obviously. Well, it's clear you don't watch Inspector Poirot in A&E. No one does. Who did it for him? At 10.30 yesterday, your son was in Harry's hardware store purchasing a canister of white paint, identical to the kind that was used to scrawl the words Class of 2001 the sale of my boat. At 1.30, he was at the Leary residence returning Mitch's keys, keys that could have easily have been copied earlier that day at the hardware store, True. giving Drew access to my school. At 9.30, he made one final appearance, this time at the storage warehouse behind the yacht club, under the pretense of having received an anonymous phone call. Does a week of suspension sound like a fair punishment to you? No. Try two weeks and uh, probation for the rest of the year. Okay. You've got a history, Drew. It's proving to be quite telling. Okay, I think we're through. Someone here. set him up, right? <laughs> oh! Drew, get my purse. <laughs> he got slapped! It was them! It wasn't. It was the hey, girl! Harry Potter. Come yeah. here. Just tell him I said touche. That's enough. Which boys? What happened? Karma. Finally caught up with me. <laughs> it wasn't them. I'm admitting I was wrong, Doug. What you do, it matters as much, if not more, than any job I'll ever be able to hold down. Well, that's Don't interesting, that. considering yesterday you didn't think it mattered at all. Well, now I think it matters. I mean, I know it matters to Mike. Pacey, I think that you're a daring original. I okay. think you have a talent for flying in the face of conventionality. And I think that you were born to break the rules, not enforce them. And you know what? I actually admire that in you. Okay, something nice. Good. This is a good moment between the Witter brothers. Did my big brother, Doug, just admit that he admired me for the first time ever? No, yeah. no, it's more like I'm just terrified at the thought of having to sit in that squad car with you for another minute. <laughs> oh. It is him. Um, oh, Molly. What's wrong? Um. Molly asked me if we could come and see you today. What is it, Molly? I'm sorry, I got you fired. No, what? you didn't. I heard Billy said you like at you after the game. Aww. And then today at school, she said if I would have stopped more goals, <laughs> then you wouldn't have been. <laughs> oh my god, what an awful person. I'm so sorry, Jack. It's okay. <laughs> Poor baby. Confusing to people like Billy's dad. Like, we can't hate people because they're different. We just have to try and forget about them and, and just go on being the best person that we can be. Aww. That's so sweet. It was them. OK. 
Okay, explanation time. <laughs> Anthony's a bitch getting up here without a ladder. <laughs> 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 what's she doing here guys i thought that we were supposed to be doing this alone i knew it the three of you we didn't we didn't pull the prank oh. we have airtight alibis Man. Nice. we all know drew did it yeah <laughs> he's a hand, terrible liar if we had wanted to pull off the prank the three of us that is and by 11 we'd be done and everyone would still be none the wiser <laughs> of course that's only hypothetical right the truth is that Drew Valentine is, was, and will always be the lone arch criminal behind it all. I, mean, I for one, am glad to see that this kid finally got what was coming to him for so long. Okay, Karma. I'm glad. Exactly. Karma. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the girls could have done it. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we pulled it off. Hmm. Huh. I'm thinking that something's been right tonight that hasn't been right for a long, long time. You guys are as friends. I just keep on forgetting why we're not still friends. You know, it's not that simple. I gotta tell you, Dawson. You told me you'd never be able to trust me again. That was probably amongst the top five worst moments of my life. When I walked out on my back porch and saw you and Joey, that was my worst. Number one my bullet. I gotta try. I don't know why it's a you that has to win him back. You know. I'm not ready to give up on you. <laughs> Doesn't work out. Oh, let's just kill each other. I support this idea. Kill him. <laughs> okay, guys. I screamed. <laughs> Okay, guys, so that was the end of Season 4, Episode 8 of Dawson's Creek. <sighs> it was a good episode. Don't get me wrong. But it was a little bit boring. It falls into the filler episodes, kind of. Definitely not my favorite out there, but like, also not like my least favorite. I think they planned it out very good. But the real plot twist... Should have been that it was uh, a team effort. They didn't suspect the girls. They never suspect women because they think, you know, they're fragile. They, they can't do such things, you know. So, for me, I think uh, it was just perfect, you know, that uh, it could have been them pulling this prank uh, together. Because why not, right? I know that it kind of brings Pacey and... Uh, Pacey and... What's his face? Pacey and Dawson together as, as friends again. But I gotta say, it's not like I'm missing that friendship. <laughs> to be honest, if you let it be and if you just left, leave... Pacey and Joey alone and you know then I'm okay I'm truly truly okay you know so for me it's kind of like I don't know man I, I it really didn't care I really didn't care about I, I don't care about Dawson that's it you know and for him to be so judgmental with 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 the old man with mr brooks like when he's like yeah i don't want to be in up alone and not doing what i said i was gonna do in my yearbook not knowing shit about this guy you know and dropping all these things so uncalled for you know because you don't know anything about this man's life why would you think you do like why you know what I mean? So it's it's for me it's just annoying, honestly. It's annoying that uh they have to, you know, uh just give him this type of, of situations where he truly believes that he's better than everyone else, you know, or that he knows better, he knows it's just stupid, in my opinion. But he is who he is, 
and what can we do, right? Um, but the thing is that I did not find the that whole thing interesting. The who did it kind of like it kind of revealed itself like honestly Jack was way too nervous so you kind of did knew that he might have been involved but for me a bigger plot twist is that you know the girls could have done it uh, because they can make a prank right and make it epic as well why not I don't know anyway so also <sighs> The thing that happened with Jack and, and Molly and, you know, the team and all of this. Uh, I am glad, you know, that it's not, not glad, actually. But um, a little bit like this is what happens when you mess with people kind of situations with Molly's sister, you know, because she got rejected by this kid because for me, he's a kid. Uh, you got rejected and he told you that he was gay and the moment he did that, you alarm or like, you know, throw this information around, never thinking that this might affect, you know, uh, Molly's relationship with Jack um, because he's actually a decent human being, you know? Um, and it comes back to bite her in the ass you know as well because now molly is upset because they are not only blaming jack because he's a bad coach because what will a gay person know about soccer you know what i mean and I, it's so ridiculous that these people are so homophobic right and sexist as well because they were like why would you put a girl as a gully like why don't you understand? And like, don't you know that we have three goals against? And like, I know this because I do watch soccer actually. And and when you when in the tally when you you do the table, like if you have more goals against you, and you have the same amount of points as the next team, if that team has less goals taken you know, then they will go up, you know, on the list. I, I do know that because I, I do know how, f uh, how football works. But the thing is that they just needed, they wanted a reason. Like the fact that they said either you win or lose, like you, you better win because if not, we're going to fire you. The decision was already made. They were going to fire him after this. They needed a reason, you know, and so... Since he won, but he had three goals scored against him, which is like a lot of goals to be to be honest. So, and if they win, what they score four or five goals, which is insane. But the thing is that um, they just wanted to fire him. They they wanted him to know uh, who was in charge and that a person of like him could not do this, you know, could not be around kids because we got to protect the kids, you know, because every time it's something like that, you know, when, when something is scary or different for this type of people, it's always, what are the kids are going to think? You know, they use them as shields to uh, just release their homophobia and their hatred uh, towards other people by using children as the excuse, you know? Um, and now poor Molly thinks that she is, you know, to blame for him getting fired because she also, you know, three goals went against her. Let me tell you, I don't know how many kids play in this type of situations in real football. There are 11 people in each team. Right, and you have you have you can replace people now. You can re before it was only three. Now I think it's up to five. Um, and the thing is that I'm pretty sure they are not gonna play ninety minutes either. You know, so that's why it amazed me that they had so many goals. But it's not like she's the only one playing. She has to have a good defense as well, right? So that defense may not have done their job well if three goals 
pass them by, you know? And the thing is, football is a team. Like, you, you play it as a team. It's not like one person is the one that did it. Unless you are from my... Ugh. Anyways, I'm not going to talk about soccer because I get upset every time I think about one particular situation when we, after 35-ish years, we went back into the World Cup and then we had a penalty against France, France right? And the guy fucking, lo like, he shot the goal and he was like, he was playing American football, okay? <laughs> he threw it like so... Uh <gasps> And till this day, I still blame him for us getting kicked out of the, uh, of the, uh, we didn't make it to the, to any, you know, uh, actual better place. We never, we never even made it out of the first round, I think. So yes, I do blame one person <laughs> in that situation, but that is professional soccer. Uh, you know, football players, you know. Um, but yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it's not like Molly was playing all on her own, you know. So when the team loses, is all of them. When they win, is all of them as well, you know. But this is just them being sexist and being homophobics. That's, that's it, you know. Um, so that makes me sad. That makes me extremely sad. So hopefully, you know, we try to do something to get you know, uh, Jack back on the team and all of that. Hopefully that can happen. And Drew, I couldn't care less about him. If he got a spell or a suspension for two weeks, good for him. Karma got the best of him. I was a little bit shocked when first, uh, uh, when, when Jack was talking to him and I was like, you gave Jen crap for what happened to Andy. And now you're going to be besties with this bitch? I don't think so, you know. But it was uh, part of a bigger plan. Uh, I don't know how is it that they didn't cut that it was Jack. Because he was so nervous. But hey, they needed a villain. Drew fit the bill. I mean, good, good for them for thinking this through. So, yeah. Anyways. I like this episode. Can I wait for the next one? I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. But this is it for my reaction for episode 8. Give it a lot of thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction is always posted first on Patreon. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Dawson's Creek. Stay tuned if you're on Patreon for the next episode. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye.